Welcome back everybody to the Slice. Here we're doing the Batman saga. <laughs> Here with the co-host, Cruz, Carlos, and I, your lo uh, lovely servant, Gambino. It's, it's weird saying my own name. I don't like saying my own name. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, Gambino, I don't like Gambino, my name either. Yeah, well, you're, uh, well we could, it's like you could say it. Gambino, Gambino, You could say somebody else's word, but I can't say it. Like, you can't say your own name. You know what I hate? I hate that both of you have, like, Cruz. That's cool. That's cool. Gambi and Carlos. We could be Vasquez. So anyways, uh, we're doing the Batman saga. This is part three, right, of the series. We are doing yes. Batman Returns, directed by Tim Mr. Burton. Tim Burton. This is the Tokyo Drift of the Batman. <laughs> the Tokyo Drift. How dare you? How dare you? Do you call you part two that Have bad? No, no, just kidding. Just... I was in the sock. Okay, and then obviously, uh, Soundtrack always by Danny Elfman. Great, uh, great man. They, Better this time. They had a, I remember there was a time where they had a beef. I think with uh, uh, Tim Burton and uh, Elfman, they were kind Do of. Tell. No, I just uh, there was a time. <laughs> I don't know the details, but I think there was a time where they kind of like, eh, okay, we kind of split. Not during this time, obviously, but I think there well, was a time. I don't think. What has been in every movie? Well, there was a time I'm pretty sure Tim Burton wasn't making the movie, right? Well, you think when they paused, they had beef? Maybe, maybe. They're like, if Elf <laughs> Elfman doesn't come back, then I will. I did. I may have, may have not heard. Anyways. Okay, this is what happened. This is what okay. happened, all right? The, the studio went, listen, forget what McDonald says. We will back your Batman 3 if you get Danny Elfman back. And he was like, shit. Damn. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, we, uh, what's up? That's two. That's, God, man. That's the S word. That's allowed. Whatever. So anyways, uh, Batman Returns, guys, what were your thoughts? I remember you guys, are, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this movie. Have you, Carlos? Yeah, yeah. Okay, not like last time. You're like, ah, oh, I've uh, seen the Schumacher's one. Yeah, sh well, it's because I haven't, the, the, the last one, I didn't see it since I was like in high school. So, okay. Yeah. So um, returning back uh, to the second one of Tim Burton's movies, uh, what do you guys think in general? Just how do you think he was going to just do it? Top it or stuff like that. What I mean, like, do you remember standards even now? Or now, where they say Batman doesn't kill. Batman did a lot of killing in this movie. Yeah, he did. He, he did. Even I'm pretty sure in the Batman sixties, he would have gotten away with a lot of killing. Oh yeah. He, he threatened a lot of people. But he only killed one guy in this one. No, oh, he killed a bunch. No, he set a man on fire. He blew oh, up yeah. a man. Okay, uh, he didn't kill him. He just morbidly crippled well, him. He killed Catwoman. She said it. Batman killed me. The Penguin killed me. <laughs> So. Let's not forget the first one. He blows up the whole factory. Oh yeah, no, well, yeah. But I'm talking about. But it was it was, about it, was it was nighttime, you know, night shift. Oh, okay, okay. He killed the penguin. Yes, he did. He yeah. threw him off the. Yeah, he didn't kill a person. He killed a penguin. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really. But anyways, Batman was a murderer, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have guns. Okay. <laughs> he used his uh his uh his badassery by just. And he killed the princess. And he killed the princess. Oh, he <laughs> killed the uh, the. Miss Gotham? No, he didn't. It was Penguin. It was Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're leaping ahead. We're leaping ahead. Yeah, anyways. Uh, well, have we ever left even found like, a footing in these these things, these rambles? <laughs> I mean, I have to like set up like a legit, like, we need to figure out how to do it, like a little like a setup, you know what I mean? Like We, we tried that and it ended up suddenly. Right? <laughs> we don't want to be scripted. Oh, yeah, we're not scripted. <laughs> it's like, it's not even script. It's like a chart, a system. Something. Systems Anyways, don't work. Da Danny DeVito, guys, the penguin. Thoughts? I didn't watch know who Danny watch... DeVito was. Okay, well, now you do. Well, no, no I, knew who da I know who Danny DeVito is now. But I when know. he was the penguin, I had no clue who Danny DeVito well, was. Well, yeah, because you were a child. Dude, it was 92. Dude. You were, you were like, two. Well, I saw the movie like around 95. 96. I mean, you were five. I, like I knew he's most like, my, my Jack, actors. He's like, oh, I didn't know oh. this man. Oh, like, he, he's jerking himself off right here. Like, I knew all my actors by the time I was five. I didn't know anybody. I know. <laughs> I thought Batman was just Batman. Like, oh, look, it's Batman. No, son, that is the dude from Beetlejuice. <laughs> I, I was watching Batman Begins. Where's George Clooney? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, Danny Vito. I mean, thoughts? Penguin? I, I love this penguin. penguin. Yeah. I love this penguin. It's dark. Yeah, so Scary. What? He's basically Frank. It's Frank. He's Frank. <laughs> he never changes. He's just disgusting. He's morbid. Or are you saying Frank is still like the penguin? Yeah. 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 I think I think Frank uh, Dan DeVito when he's playing Frank, he just channels his inner penguin. Yeah. True. 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 Um, Eddie, uh, how about you, Carlos? What did you think of the penguin? Besides describing him as Frank, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what I did already. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, as, uh, as a villain from comic, from he's cartoons, cre he's creepy. Animated creepy, series. Yeah. Did he 
different people, right? Well, he's creepy. Like he's he's. I, he's Don't tell me like a woman. He's gross. He's gross. Ghetto. <laughs> you sound like a nun. Bit that guy's nose off. Yeah. At least by no, it isn't bleeding. Yeah, but no, he was he was heartless. All the all the all the putang you want. Oh, like, all yeah. the penguins have different. I love how simple this penguin is. His motivation is just what any of our motivation would be to be a villain. And, and, to, drown, and to drown the first children, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, killing the firstborns of of Egypt is something we all want to do. Exactly. What's up, Chris? Each penguin has has had its own incarnation. All of them have been different. From the sixties. This uh, to Burdens, to Gotham, okay. and the animated series. They've all yeah. been different, but this one was just like scary. Yeah, okay. Deformed. Deformed. How dare you? He's he is person. deformed. He's a person. A person is a person no matter what. Like he was pretending to be classy while the other penguins, they were classy. They were classy, yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. He was like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Uh, he look, he looks Wear like a, a button. He looks like he came from like the wrong side of the trailer park. He came. He looked like he came out of Tim Burton's head. Jesus, I mean, that makes sense. Here, Mars Attack, obviously. I, I see why, because I saw that a lot of people didn't like how dark it was, and I see. I see why. I understand why yeah. people just. Well, this movie, you said it bummed you out, right? Didn't the ending just? It's just yeah. like it's because the last one it ends on such a triumphant note. Mm -hmm. You know, dun 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 no. Mm -hmm. He left us a signal, yeah. and Batman's on top of the building, all like, yeah, I kicked the Joker's ass. Yeah. And this one's like, yeah, my girlfriend's dead. <laughs> Did you consider that a loss for Batman? Yeah, yeah. It just ends with him. It's like, yeah, everybody's dead. <laughs> all my friends are dead. Everybody's dead. Literally, uh, everybody died. When's part three coming movie. up? Oh, part three. Anyways, uh, Cruz, Batman, uh, for this movie, for you, what? Uh, he talks more. He talks more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a bit of a. He made a, he made a joke. Uh, he, had a bit, he had he had a, a, a more of a a Barry Allen in him. He kept making those stupid facial expressions. Barry Allen. Oh, you know how Barry Allen is like the Spider Man of the universe, where he's like, when he's fighting, he's like trying to distract the villain with the, with the silly jokes oh I thought we had something here oh we do Pah! and then uh, sure <laughs> sure let's he's not... joking around when he's supposed to not supposed to be joking around uh, I mean he, she had it coming <laughs> uh, yeah he threw a piece of TNT at a guy that's yeah, pretty funny, funny. You no know, I don't know I, I, will, I will disagree with you on that I didn't, I didn't see Perry Allen in that no but I'm saying like the jokester like Batman's not supposed to, be, supposed to be joking around. Yeah, I think he was more, uh, he was more uh, like uh, sarcastic, cynical in a way with Catwoman. Yeah. Because they had a thing. I think I think you do that with that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. But I don't know about him joking around like in every, every scene before that he was like kill, kill, <laughs> kill, 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 that's like your opinion, man. <laughs> That's anyway, my life. How about you, Carlos Batman? Stepped up his game? Kept his game? You know, I felt like we saw less of Batman. More Bruce Wayne, right? Less, just in general. Like, just I, more I, Bruce I, Wayne, I thought right? this movie was yeah. more about the villains than it was about Batman. Yeah. Like, Batman was kind of a side character in this one. Not the movie about? was like about Selina, Penguin, and... Max Shrek. Beetlejuice. <laughs> How did you feel about, like, I mean, just like about that, then less Batman? I mean, at first, I was like, uh, where's Batman? Like, like mm -hmm. they showed him, but uh, they didn't focus on him. Like, yeah. you didn't really... Well, he didn't really have a stake you, in... You the, got... I mean, you saw him a lot in part one. Yeah. You think he wanted... Uh, Tim Bray wanted to focus more on the villain side? Obviously, I think that's what he focused on. And it was just surprising, because, you know, it's like, wh when are we going to get Batman's motivation? Like, okay. we don't get that till like... A, a long way into the movie. No, and we I think we were talking about it earlier during the film that we I was suspecting they were gonna do something well I wasn't suspecting but I was expecting them to do something oh, with yeah, the whole they were setting up the whole that Batman would have a connection with the penguin because they both have that shared loss. Yeah. And then they go nowhere with that. Yeah yeah like this, in the this beginning next... he was hoping like oh you know I hope he finds his family. I hope and he the, gets what he wants. And then the next scene Batman's like oh, oh who who changed his mind? Alfred did. Uh, why? No, no, uh, all they no. did was go, problem, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Well, he's like, oh, I hope he finds his parents. Yeah. But then after, he's like, why are you hating on the boy? He's just <laughs> trying to find his family. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's kind of fishy. Well, that penguin was playing like 10 levels <clears throat> of Rubik's Cubes right there. Like, yeah. you, you don't know what he wanted. But I did feel like, wait, like, like this movie was about the villains. It wasn't about Batman. Uh, do you, did you like that, though? 
I mean, like you said in the last movie, we it was Batman's movie, and in this one, it's not like Batman wasn't in this movie. Yeah. We did get to see him. It was called Batman Returns. Yeah, it was Batman Returns. But he re- did he return all the way? Oh yes. But you know, I mean, all, all in all, it was, it was a good movie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that is not one of the problems I have with this movie. Oh, you have a problem. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's like, like, oh, I mean, yeah. like, if I was to have problems about this movie, that wouldn't be a problem. Oh, okay, okay. Because, you know, it, like, yeah, he wasn't I'll in the movie. I'll put away my reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, we're, we're pointing guns at each other under the table. You had what? <laughs> Say goodbye to your Nazi boss. Uh, yeah. I'm like, if I had problems with this movie, it, that wouldn't be one of them. Because no. what the other thing they did was, was still good. Okay. Like, the villains were good. And they were great. Like, they were memorable. You, mm. you, w- when you're watching it, you're like, oh, God, not this again. Yeah. Get to the Batman parts. Yeah. No, it'd be like, oh, fuck, yeah, Penguin, Catwoman. Yeah, especially how Penguin was very, uh, not only, he was flashy at the same, at some points. Like you were, la- we were laughing when you took it off in the helicopter. Uh, uh, oh, he, he just, <laughs> he kind of just did like a little pee. <laughs> he's got, a, he's got style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean he was just, he wanted to bang Cavill, but the whole time. We let him on. He don't like it. Yeah, but it was just, you know, Piglet was like, uh, Cruz, how about you? How did you feel about the villains of anything? We'll just jump in. I know you didn't see that much Batman. I'm assuming you could agree with Carlos on that, right? With the whole Batman. I liked it though. He only came out when he needed to. Yeah, like it's it's not a bad thing. It's just a different style. No, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like it was, uh, it was giant. Did you have not like, like, even the, even the books? Batman doesn't come out a whole lot either. Mm-hmm. Only when he needs to. Oh, okay. <laughs> it only makes sense. One might say they they took it back to the comics. Yeah, right. Um, talking about uh, my but, here. I know. But I like that the Venom was making a mock, or like while running the mock in the city, destroying it, and the mayor's coming out. Oh, you know, I'm sorry for what happened yesterday, and then comes the villains again. Could have used Harvey Dent, which is which, yeah, which was, he wasn't, he in, the wasn't in the movie. I know, right? Just kind of sus. Them. I almost forgot that he wasn't. I almost yeah. thought he was. Like I was like, wait, where's, that? where's Harvey? Yeah. That it almost just kind of made me suspicious. Maybe uh, they were gonna bring him out for the third one. And then when they got two scenes of Jim Gordon in it too. I don't like that scene he's in. It's like it's this evidence is purely implicational. <laughs> it does not mean that Batman <laughs> murdered that woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean they had. I I think uh, one of the things they did more was. Uh, which I liked is that they uh, showed Bruce Wayne dealing with Bruce Wayne things. Like, yeah. Talking to Max Shrek. Like, oh, I don't doing know. a business thing. Yeah, like, oh, you want a power plant, but we already have a power plant. Why are you going to do more another one? You no, know, yeah, I just. Yeah, I, I wish know. they could have explained that because it was like, that's a shady deal. Oh, yeah. that's it. <laughs> no, but it was cool that yeah. Bruce was like, because he wanted to get Bruce in on it. Yeah. Because yeah. he had like, oh, here's the share plans or whatever the hell. And Bruce was like, I don't like it. I have. You. I read the plan and it says we're. Fine. Anyways, uh, after that, what can we talk about? Ah, uh, the aesthetics of the aesthetics sound like a. I'm gonna paint you a picture. <laughs> no, the look of the city, you guys. Right, Which Van Gogh. Is... Van Gogh. Oh yes, I am a Joker. <laughs> yes. Continue, you guys. So that was very Tim Burton-ish, very depressing, very gothic, same as the first one, but we get to see a whole lot more of it. I think it's very snowing. I like it. I was the, Chris- you, the Christmas movie. I was talking to you about it too when we we're in the beginning. I, I liked how the the music played with the, with the, how the, the just the look of just how yeah. sn- like depressing snow. I guess we just call it like I never I never saw it snow look depressed. Like I preferred the soundtrack to this one. Like yeah. down, it seems like down the Elfman was just more comfortable. Yeah. Kind of going. It, it reminded me of like that had those choirs for Mars Attacks. Oh yeah. And like it, it, like he just went all out with it, and it complemented the the scenes of the the of the the movie. Like my favorite scenes where the music starts playing nice is you farted. Huh? <laughs> you see, oh. it was the scene with uh, Cat Catwoman's rebirth uh, yeah. when she's destroying the sh- crap out of her house. It was nice. It was nice. They yeah. played it all like down and just. She and was I'm, chugging that milk like she oh. needed it. You are obsessed with that scene. It w- it feels like like you want to drink like that. Like you see someone drinking it like that, you're like, God, they, that must be the greatest milk ever. <laughs> like when you see someone like drinking some you never delicious. Had a, you coke. never had a cool glass of milk. Not like th- have you d- ever drank like that? I've done that with water. <laughs> no, you haven't. So yeah, shut your shit. mouth. <laughs> have you never drinking milk? I've done ice cold water. Drinking coke right now, so but yeah. you never drank it like her. She literally was like in the desert almost. Yeah, she was like so dehydrated. This, 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 Sahara. Is, this is the first thing she finds, and she's drinking it like that's how God. I wanted to drink. You know, water. Yeah, you could do that water. Yeah, yeah. but that no. was tight. Like she's just like. Oh, God, oh, God. 
I was like, I want to live like that. I want to live. I want to have a moment that. that she looked like Kurt Angle chugging that milk in the ring. Um, uh, Tim Burton puts like some alcohol in there and like didn't tell her. She's like, like Yeah, oh, come with Tini. God damn my car. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else can you guys say about this movie that hasn't been said already for you guys? I mean, what do you uh, think of this movie compared to the uh, I guess the last ones? Not comparing, but I guess I don't know. What you guys uh, think? The fighting, the fighting was better in this one. Okay. You know, there was a little more fighting. There was a little bit more fighting, a more dodging. You, it was, it wasn't just like close up fights. It was like spend it out where you, you could see them like blocking and lowering themselves down and oh. blocking the hits. Someone didn't see the church bell scene fight. <laughs> the church fight. The church yeah, it's not the church fight. Excuse me. You're welcome. Never dance with the devil in the pill moment. Oh my god. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, okay, Cruz Cruises Cruises uh notice the fighting. How about you, Carlos? From this one to that one. It was it was darker. Yeah. Like the tone, like it just like I said at the end it's just everybody's dead. Yeah, yeah. It was it was darker. I see why people didn't like people liked the movie. Yeah. But I see why the studio went in a du- direction because I'm pretty sure they were like, oh god, another one of these. Our audience is gonna kill itself. You think it would have done good uh, during this time, like where we're at now? Since most of these movies nowadays are dark, I know, I know yeah. you don't really like your dark movies. Well, you want they, th- movies. that's the thing. Like th- this is the this is darkness done right. Like they treat it as a tragedy, while the other ones are just dark for darkness' sake. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, look how many people we're killing! While well, this one is more like, no, it's tragedy. Yeah, like every character has a depressing tale to tell. Yeah, it wasn't like, oh yeah, I, I murdered a thousand people. Okay. I think. Yeah. I see where you're going there. Yeah, like, I see why the studio... I mean, I wish we could have seen another Batman movie. Yeah. But I get why they went in another direction. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty... Business-wise. Business. Yeah, business-wise and both. Like, I, I would... Well, if I was in the studio and I was a producer, I probably would have agreed with that decision. Okay, so what... If, even though your heartstrings were like, no, I must see more. Yeah. Um, but, but, but if I'm thinking with my wallet, I would be like, yeah, um, yeah people aren't going to show up for another one of these. Do we know that? Because I mean, I mean, most of the reasons why people were uh, complaining was because McDonald's, big companies, yeah. were like toys, were like, well, it's like you, you need to make money, and that's yeah. that's where the, that's where your money comes from. But I mean, which even I mean, would you say that with like movies nowadays and making billions of dollars in the in the box office, do you still use that as a like? Let's say your movie made it more than you know, like like horror films. Well, well, here's the thing, get away with that. Well, here's the thing you gotta understand about movies. It's not just uh, the the success of a movie isn't just measured by how much money yeah, it made aver- by yeah. sales. It's also how much merchandise, merchandise, yeah. advertisement. How many how many companies want to stick your logo on their shit? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so, so if if people don't like, if if your movie's kind of like a movie that people don't associate with happy stuff, they're not your, your uh, companies aren't gonna go to you and be like, oh yeah, we want to put your. Your, your stuff on our even though level. sometimes I mean not, not that many people licensed Schindler's List oh I know but I mean like <laughs> it's you, a good movie but you know it's not the movie you wanna <laughs> you're talking about Holocaust man <laughs> we're <laughs> yeah. talking about Batman it's like great comparison McDonald's breaking they're gonna come to you because you have a superhero they want to license that superhero for their toys for the kids. Get well, I feel like those. I feel like merchandise has expanded now. That doesn't even yeah. involve kids oh, anymore. Yeah, well, today, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it would be. It's different yeah. today. Well, honestly, back then, that's back what then, they cared about. Halloween. Was, back then, they couldn't. They can't be like, oh, here's your burnt up Beetlejuice action figure. He yeah. dies. Yeah, I know. I mean, okay, let's talk about sales. Uh, like, so look at Halloween. No, I'm talk- oh yeah, well, Halloween's a like, horror movie. Yeah, you got you got it on baseball caps now. You have posters. You have action figures. You have. T-shirt, sweaters, and before you didn't no, but you're you're. But is that modern popularity, or was that popularity that would have reflected that at the time? Yeah, because I feel like I, I agree with you. There's caps and stuff, but I think at that time they're like, are there gonna be more parent? Like you know how kids movies they make a lot of money. You have more kids than you have parents. Yeah. So parents are gonna make the decision like, are we gonna watch a horror film, honey, or are we gonna like get? these kids satisfied so they could go to sleep right after that Timmy wants to see the new Batman movie do you remember the last one it was good Timmy <laughs> was screaming <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that, I think I understand what you're going with but now back then like how Carl was saying like if McDonald's was like sponsoring your film I think you want to go with McDonald's 
Yeah. That's what I'm just saying. I wish I wanted... Like, if you're thinking just with your wallets, yeah. I get it. But, like, if obviously from a fan perspective, like, of course I want to see another one. Yeah. But, you know, if it's your money on the line, you know, you're going to go with whatever yeah. makes you money. Well, this, uh, how much did this movie make, Cruz? 282 million. 282 million? Yeah. Uh, Carlos, and this budget was, was 80 million? 80 million. Uh, for you, successful? Well, again, like, it's... No, I'm just saying successful yeah, it, it money. Made, I'm not it, saying, it, it, like, made its, it made its money back, but... You know, it, it only tripled its gross. Yeah, nowadays, well, but even then, they even back then, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta rush that shit yeah. up. So, how much would you call a a successful film? Well, I mean, how much would you consider? Here's the thing: this even back then, Batman was a big yeah yeah thing. So back then, they would have been like, dude, we gotta make at least four, or five times our money. Okay, so everybody's always looking for five times. Well, yeah, that, well, is that well, a long one? Well, that's the thing. Not with just a regular movie. This is a Batman movie. Yeah. You gotta expect to make at least that amount of your yeah. money back. So, like, what I'm saying in general, I think with big box office movies like that, they expect five times now. Big their, returns. Oh, yeah. today it's like a billion minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back then, you know, I'm pretty sure they were expecting five times their return. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. You know, um, the first Batman made budget was 35 million. Box office was four hundred and eleven. There you oh, go. Yeah, that's, that's, that's there okay. you go. That's yeah. like more than ten times. True, true, true. You know, and it's uh, it, again, it's uh, if you're thinking just with your wallet, I I don't blame them for the direction they took. Yeah, so I mean, it's think... cool to think what if, but you know, if, yeah. it's, if it's your money on the line. Yeah. And remember, Cleveland didn't sign up for multiple multiple contracts, so we could get that third one. Or, or but that's always at the discretion of the. Of the and those contracts aren't forever. No, that's true. Like that's after true. a few decades, no one expects to, uh, no one expects a company to honor something that was decades ago. Yeah, that's true. Like that's I'm true. pretty sure, like if WB went up to Michael Keaton and be like, "You have to be in our new Batman movie." It says right here in the thing you signed in 1989. And be like, really? You're gonna hold me up to that? Yeah. Well, he didn't show up in the fourth one, in the in the third one for yeah for uh, Schumacher's technically the third one to the United. They didn't show up to those. I think that at that point, like, because they, they took the Batman license in another direction, the previous contracts are void. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, that was basically uh, our kind of like a little take. Uh, boys, recommendations with the, would you tell people? Would you tell people to watch this film? No. No? Chris would be like, no. Shoot, Carlos? I mean, yeah, watch it, but, you know, if, it's not a must watch. It's not a must watch for you, it's a, you run into it, maybe. Yeah, it's like a fun side thing, but okay. like if if in in the grand scheme of Batman movies, you know, it's not. Your yeah, you're yeah. Good, okay. Yeah, hey, he's not getting a cat down from a tree. <laughs> I I would uh, I would recommend it because this is probably one of the darkest Batman films. Yeah, yeah. Just just for that, like it's it's kind of moody. It's a last good Batman film before Bale. One of the yeah, last Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, before, yeah, after Bale, after after this one, you have to wait, like, literally like two movies. Ten years. Yeah, ten years. So I, I would recommend it. Just, like I said, Batman, the first 90, the 89, would recommend it a must-watch. And this one, if you really want to see a dark Batman film, you watch yeah. this so, one. Uh, you have to be in the mood for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You this need, isn't a movie. You can just you be need, like, you oh. need candles. I can always watch the movie. Yeah. All right, folks, this was us. Uh, if you liked it, uh, click a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you uh, care to subscribe, because we are a growing company. And by the time in 10 years, we'll be uh, rich as a food pack. We'll be at Comic Con. Yeah, we'll be at Comic Con selling comic books that are not even ours. Yeah. So take it easy.